Caddis Maxim is here, this time with a review of the six-piece set of the Craftsman Acetate Handle uh, Pry Bar set. These are the older American-made ones, although I found online that Sears still does sell these acetate pry bars, uh, although they're no longer made in America. I did see some uh, old stock listings on various tool websites as well as on eBay for some of the U.S.-made ones, and they're actually pretty reasonably priced for the whole set. It was like 60 bucks or 70 bucks or something. Craftsman also has a professional series, and upon doing a lot of research, actually reading tool forms, uh, a lot of people say that most of the money for the professional series goes into the much nicer handles that have the striking surface, but they say that it, they don't seem, they are a little stronger, but they don't seem to be as proportionately stronger as these, and most people recommend saying save the money and just go with uh, the red handled set. This is indeed a six piece set, and what we have here is we have beam sizes of quarter inch, three eighths, half inches, and five eighths. And how that works proportionately is the quarter inch, the little quarter inch beam is an eight inch. Then we have a three eighths inch beam, 12 inch long. We have another three eighths inch beam, 17 inches long. Then we have a half inch beam that's 25 inches long, a second half inch beam that's 30 inches long, and then a big one, which is a 36 inch with a five eighths square beam. Now, one of the reasons I do like these craftsmen is they do have a square beam, and there's actually been quite a few occasions where I've been prying on something, but I do need to add a, a little bit of twist to it, and it sure is nice to put an adjustable end wrench or a box wrench on this to add a little bit of twisting force while you're prying. That's actually turned been very, very handy. I've used these. These are my oldest pry bars. I tend to be pretty nice to pry bars, and when I have really kind of ugly work, such as prying rocks or stuff where I may damage them, I actually have some beater pry bars just so you can have your nicer ones maintain a nice edge. That being said, the edges on these have certainly held up uh, to all the expectations I've had. Uh, definitely have you know hammered these a few times, really put a lot of force on them, and they really have uh, performed as expected. They do have a standard 15 degree bend, and all the angles are going to be and tip shapes are going to be the same on all these little pry bars. I do like that they have a sharp tip, but they don't grind it too much, so you still have a lot of cross section, so it prevents the actual fine edge of the tip wanting to roll over, and I thought that was a nice aspect too. I can also happily report that I've, these have really taken a lot of torque. I've always known proportionately that, say, this 30 inch with just a half inch bar wasn't going to be the heaviest duty. This wasn't going to be the kind of bar that you would really be able to stand on and bounce on or use a cheater bar. I reviewed a Klein pinch bar, fit up bar, which is the same length as this, 30 inches, but it uses a 7 8 inch round beam. Um, to give you an idea, proportionally, if you wanted to have a pry bar that, say, was 30 inches long, that would take whatever level of force you wanted, such as, you know, hundreds of pounds of people jumping up and down on it, this would not be the one. You would want something a lot heavier duty. That being said, this has been real nice because it fits in the tight spaces, and it does take a lot of torque. I have nearly hung off of this thing and you can't, and been able to see it deflect, but it actually didn't stay permanently bent. There may be a slight bend in it from when I've really torqued on it, but this thing was, I've had this thing really bowed out. Uh, you, Many of you subscribers and people watching have seen lots of tool reviews such as l large breaker bars and how far those things can curve and deflect before they actually take a permanent bend. These are the same way. It's really surprising. Now this 5 8 bar, even though innocuously enough, it seems that there's very little difference, an eighth inch difference in two directions over a half inch bar, but you really notice that. That is a significant amount of extra material. And this 36 inch actually feels much more rigid than the 30 inch with the half inch beam, just from the difference of the 5 8 steel. If you were to buy these individually, to tell you the truth, I do a three piece set of the largest one, this middle size 25 inch, and then probably the 12 inch. But really, uh, the best scenario is getting the whole set because that way you have big enough pry bars for the kind of torque that you need. You have two pry bars that are large for so many situations where you need to pry stuff off evenly. If you're manually prying off gears or maybe transmission cases, etc., uh, you'll notice that a lot of people go around, they rock around with the same pry bar. And so many times I've seen where if you use two pry bars, one on each side, then you can just lift it up like a a press and everything comes apart real nice and evenly. So that's a reason to get the whole set. 
as well as having all the size pry bars you need. A lot of times uh, you want to use as large a pry bar as you can physically fit in the situation just so you have more control over it and especially little ones like this. Little ones like this are great for interior work and all sorts of stuff and even though it has a quarter inch uh, square it's so short it really really is stiff. They do use a high quality steel. Anyway I'll include the part numbers to these in the description. Oh, and I did want to point out that even Craftsman back in the USA era, of course, wasn't perfect. These are all Craftsman USA. See, there's USA. All these are American-made, etc. What is kind of amusing is you'll see the names are all in the same direction here, except for this one. They did print it upside down. Uh, relative to the rest of them, so they're not perfect, but it has a little quirk about these. And finally, I have obviously never had an issue with the handles even remotely coming loose on these. I've never had to warranty any of these pry bars. Anyway, that was my quick review of the Craftsman review of the Craftsman 43,000 series pry bars. I really appreciate everybody watching and view viewing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.